In order to survive, you have to eat. It's an inescapable fact of life. So all living things do whatever they have to, to fill their bellies. Some animals though, have developed nearly superhero level senses to find their next meal. Hello and welcome to 7 Facts. Kiwis are small flightless birds native to New Zealand. They're the size of a chicken, but are actually related to ostriches and emus. They are so famous and beloved that they've actually become an icon of New Zealand. And yet, few people know anything about this peculiar little bird. For one, they have a super sense of smell, something not found in many bird species. At the end of their unusual long beak, they have nostrils that connect to olfactory receptors, the only known birds to have this setup. This way, they can detect insects and worms underground, locate them precisely and catch them without actually seeing, feeling or hearing them. Their internal nose is comparable to that of a dog and their olfactory lobes in their brains are the biggest of any bird. So they might look weird, they might seem ordinary, but kiwis are actually a masterpiece of nature. Another example of an extraordinarily efficient animal is the grey wolf. These guys have a sense of smell about 10,000 times more sensitive than that of a human. That means that they can locate their prey, based on smell alone, from up to 2.5 kilometers away. How do they do that? Well, they have about 50 times more olfactory receptors than we do. Not only that, but this tissue is spread out to the maximum, to ensure maximum exposure to molecules in the air. The actual nose chamber is shaped in such a way that air is actually pushed towards this membrane. The reason why a wolf's or a dog's nostrils are wet is to dissolve olfactory molecules before they enter the nose. This way, a wolf's brain can more easily analyze smells. Add to this the fact that their vision is at least as good as ours and the fact that they're highly intelligent social animals and you've got yourself an extremely efficient killing machine. As you can imagine, it's not at all easy to escape such a finely tuned predator. Komodo dragons found on some islands of Indonesia are the largest lizards currently in existence. They can grow up to 3 meters in length and weigh up to 70 kilograms. Komodo sometimes attack humans, but only on rare occasions. If they do, watch out! Aside from being much stronger than you, their bite is also venomous. What is awesome about these dragons though, is how they search for their prey. By tasting air. You see, Komodo dragons, like many other reptiles, rely on their tongues to detect taste and smell. They stick their tongue out often and when they do, air molecules stick to it. Inside the mouth, they press their tongue onto Jacobson's organ, a specialized tissue extra sensitive to air molecules. By the way, we humans also have this organ, but it's vestigial and completely non-functional. With the help of this smell detector, Komodo dragons can sniff out their prey from 9.5 kilometers away. Before we continue, I'd like to ask you something. This channel has no sponsors, so if you enjoy the content I make, please consider supporting these videos by becoming a patron. You can check out my Patreon page by clicking here or find the link in the description. Ok, now we can move on to the next fact. Bat-eared foxes, found in the African savanna, don't rely so much on their sense of smell. Instead, they specialize their ears to search for food. As their name suggests, they have some pretty big ears, up to 13 centimeters long. That makes them excellent for thermal regulation, but also for capturing sound. Most of their diet is made up of termites and other insects, but those are pretty hard to catch. So, from time to time, these foxes stop and just stare at the ground. Or so it would seem. What they actually do is listen. Their large ears act like a parabolic antenna, picking up and amplifying even the tiniest noises termites can make on the ground. 
Like other canines, they might rotate their head to help localize their prey. Once they found what they were looking for, the foxes will quickly dig out whatever was hiding there. The only way to escape this predator is to stay completely still and not make a sound. Insects are the hardiest and most successful members of the animal kingdom. Some can be quite annoying, others outright dangerous. But they can also be quite fascinating. A perfect example is the common pond skater. As the name suggests, this little insect can practically skate on water thanks to some tiny hairs found on four of its six legs that act like pockets of air. While this already is fascinating on its own, the way Jeris lacustris locates its prey is equally as incredible. These little guys are innate mathematicians. Whenever an unfortunate insect falls into a pond and gets stuck, its chaotic movements will produce tiny waves. The pond skater detects these ripples with its feet and rapidly calculates when these waves hit each of its legs. This way, it can almost immediately detect where those waves are coming from and will skate to its victim with lightning speed. Once there, it will grab it and literally suck out the bodily fluids. The common pipistrelle is the most widespread bat species in Europe, North Africa and West Asia. It's a tiny little thing, less than 10 centimeters long, that uses echolocation to detect its prey made up of insects. But what's really cool about this dude is the way it decides to go out hunting. You see, it has an internal barometer, the Vitali organ, with which it can actually detect atmospheric pressure. This helps this tiny creature conserve a lot of energy. How? It's quite easy. High pressure usually indicates to them that their prey is not going to fly around a lot, while at low pressure their favorite snacks will come out more. This is important because a pipistrelle can eat about a fifth of its weight in an hour, and it needs to. So if they go out to hunt but don't eat enough, the end result is that they lost more energy than what they gained, which can lead to starvation. A starfish is one of the most beautiful creatures of the sea. But looks can be deceitful. Starfish are actually predators. The Mayonester starfish, found off the coast of Chile, is an especially aggressive one, eating pretty much anything it catches. They can move fast on the sea floor using tube feet operated by actual hydraulic systems. They smell their prey by detecting chemical signatures in the water and follow the scent until they grab their meal. When they catch it, they can turn their stomach inside out over the victim and start digesting immediately. While this is happening, they can use their other arms to grab onto any other victim that was unfortunate enough to be nearby. I hope this video was interesting enough to have inspired you to look into it further on your own. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe. You can leave your comments downstairs and you can also check out my Patreon page if you want to support me. The link is in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.